Okay, welcome to Jez Beer Review Safe, first uh, review on the iPad. Okay, today's beer is going to be Monteith's Barrel Age Porter. Now this beer comes in a 500ml bottle, it's 6.5% ABV, and it says on here, 31 IBUs. Now um, this is like a, uh, I believe a, I don't know if it's Lion, I'm pretty sure it might be Lion who owns Monteith's, it's one of the bigger brewers anyway. It's a bit like a James Squires, it's crafty. A crafty beer. Um, now, yeah, so I, I've never really had a barrel aged porter before, so it's going to be very interesting. So let's crack it open and let's get stuck into it. I think they paid about um, $5.99 for this bottle, by memory. Okay, do a smoke, dude. There's a nice looking bottle there. Very attractive. Let's just uh, pour it in. Oh, it's a nice colour. Very nice colour. Okay, it's a bit hard when you're pouring above your eye line, but anyway, give you an idea of the appearance and the light there. Uh, it's black, it, it's black like a, a Tuizel. If you ever had Tuizel in Australia, it's, uh, it's black, but you can see through it. Uh, maybe like a really dark amber. Do black appearance, not as black as say a you yeah, know nowhere near as black as a Guinness, but um, a bit like a two years old. You can see through it. Looks very nice in the glass there. Anyway, uh, we've got one finger of head, and it's a uh, pretty typical not the owl style head. It's tight, fluffy, uh, the aroma. Yeah, it's not a, not, not a lot going on. It's just um. Some roasted malts, um, not a real hop there standing out, but uh, you know it, it smells. It smells pretty. Um, no real big smell or aroma. Nothing like that uh, tiny home brew I had last night with the amount of hops in it. But uh, the, anyway, let's get into it. Cheers and a big cheers to uh, tiny for the home brews yesterday as well. The body, for its percentage, it's not as full body as I imagine it'd be. I'd say it's only around the medium body. Um, the flavour profile is a bit of smokiness from the from the uh, from the the barley malt. It's been roasted, of course, for a porter. The colour of tea that, but uh, there is caramel there. Um, the bitterness. Let's have a go at the bitterness here and see how it goes. Thirty-one IBUs. I don't know if I'm just getting more resistant to bitterness, but uh, it's, yeah, I'd say it, I'd, it feels something like around twenty. But I suppose being around know, thirty, and that it's it's not much of a difference. But um, it's it's definitely um, it's definitely got bitterness, but yeah, it doesn't feel like thirty uh, IBUs. Got sweet malts, maybe a bit of a caramel. Reminds me of like a James Squires Amber Ale, to be honest. It's got that bit of caramel. It's got the toffee, and that bit of smokiness on the back end of the beer. It's definitely got. They must use a um, English ale to the beer. It's got that English ale yeast flavour, like James Squires and. I imagine they would, I'm not sure what hops they use, it doesn't say in the bottle, but it does taste a bit like um, if it's bitten with Fuggles or East Kent Goldings, that's, um, what's it say here, it says it's good for Sunday roast, we all know that, it's yeah, aged American oak. Um, I don't really taste any real great vanilla notes, normally you hear, like especially in the States, that the, the beer reviews there will talk about vanilla with these barrel aged beers, but not drawing a lot of woodiness out of the beer, nor, nor the vanilla or woodiness. Normally with a scotch you can really, because you know, it's aged for so, like, so long, you can nice and go, scotch has that real nice oaky flavour, but and this is beer I know, but um, 
not really drawing much wood or oak from the beer. The vanilla. Yeah, it just reminds me so much like Jane Squire's Amber Ale, just a bit darker, a little bit sweeter maybe. But um, anyway, um, Montes Barrel Aged Porter, 6.5%, it's 31 IBUs. Uh, probably gets a score of a solid B. It's not really knocking me socks off. Um, I prefer the Jay Squires Port E. It's not even barrel age. I prefer it over this. Um, yeah, I'd like to say a little bit disappointed with the no real oaky flavour to that oak woody flavour. But uh, anyway, it's it's solid enjoyable beer. I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't say it's a it's a well beating uh, barrel aged porter or porter in that means. So uh, yeah, B for. Montes Barrel Aged Porter, um, yeah, it's something to try, but uh, I probably is better ones out there for the price. Okay, thanks for watching this episode, Jez Brewers. You take care. I'll see you all later.